loved the Lovecraftian adventure of Secret Rooms. You loved the anthropomorphized cats of Tiger's Eye. You pushed through the world-building glossary with a narrative that was the cartographer's handbook. Now, get ready for an alternate reality post-Civil War sci-fi action Washington-based political thriller. That doesn't seem to go anywhere for about 11 chapters. When Vice President Rutherford B. Hayes is devoured by a manticore at a public speech in Ohio, a struggling Grant administration must turn to the National Intelligence Agency to help them find a new man to do what was described by John Adams as the most insignificant office that ever the invention of man contrived or his imagination conceived. Otherwise, the next commander-in-chief might be a heartless, corrupt racist. Hmm, topical. Featuring Meetings. Sir, Tremaine is here to speak with you. The President will see you now, Director. Mr. Raven, it's nice to finally meet you. Senator, thank you for meeting with me over this rather delicate situation. Mr. Miller. Bishop Miller. Bishop Miller, what can I do for you this morning? Apologies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Major. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Sorry, sir. My apologies, sir. I'm sorry, Director. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We apologize. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, I forgot who I was talking to. Apology accepted. And speeches. Brothers and sisters of Ohio. Welcome to the world of incredible new science. We have been granted the privilege by the American people to serve them in their hours of need. People don't just want to survive. That ain't the American dream and never was. We didn't leave the clutches of England just to survive out here. We came out to thrive. Do, Do not, not accept, accept this mindset, mindset in your fellow man. Do not allow the American people to be voiced by the most ignorant, the most blinded, the most aggressive. They need to know history so that they can understand where they came from. Ah, to understand and empathize as well as to express themselves where words are not enough. Out there you've got millions of people wandering around with all this shit bubbling under the surface that can't be channeled only through practical means. Experience the customary first half of moving pieces around on the game board in a way that has you yearning for the carefully developed characters of the last book before throwing you into a breakneck freefall of a second half that you'll be yearning for at the beginning of the next book. Starring Thomas Arlington, an angry, paranoid, super smart former slave turned director of the CIA, basically Nick Fury in cowboy times. Sarah Arlington, his wife and deputy director, a smart, confident, elegant black woman. Their daughter, Truth, the White House communications director, their other daughter, Harriet, a shy mechanical genius who spends her time making steampunk wet dream serenities on wheels. Ugh. Kinda makes our 1883 look like crap. Also starring the real-life duo of Annie Oakley and her far less famous sharpshooting husband Frank Butler. Real-life inspiration for Thomas, Frederick Douglass. Underappreciated genius Nikola Tesla and greedy pompous asshole Thomas Edison. Because that's the way you guys like it this love letter to Michelle Yeoh, and a bunch of other colorful characters that the artist hasn't drawn yet. And not starring, sadism, boobs, sexual assault, relentlessly grim atmosphere, and various other trappings that seem to define entertainment for mature audiences today. However, this America is also overrun with Wendigos, a zombie werewolf vampire hybrid that will haunt your nightmares. Seriously, those things better not turn up in this one or I'm gonna lose my shit. We think someone left a door open. Wait, what was that? Oh, don't worry there. All gone now. Ah! Arlington. A new century serial in audio or written format. Hey, I hear the next one is set in Victorian Britain. Now we can finally get some cups of tea. Carl is gonna fetch us a couple of tall glasses of sweet tea? I am. You are? Damn it, that's not tea! 